Space, the final frontier. Humanity's next and greatest adventure. Simply put, the mystery of our time. You've heard this song and dance before, and we've all had fantasies of spacefaring conquests, but not every fantasy ends in cabin fever, loneliness, and crumbling defeat. Sometimes the only way to truly appreciate the beauty of something is to walk the razor's edge, learning the dangers of it, and ultimately gaining more respect for it. With each journey comes hardship, and because of that hardship, the experience is all the richer. And so, for my own journey into the void and its perils to come, I don one of my favorite space captains' livery as I journey through the verse in FTL Advanced Edition. Shiny. Ah, FTL. Believe it or not, I was a bit of a latecomer to this orbital romp. Trust me, even I was surprised that I hadn't played. The opportunity to careen through the stars in zero-g, captaining a ship of your own and fighting space pirates? Why the hell wouldn't I? Well, if I'm being completely honest, when I first played the tutorial, I was a little overwhelmed by the micromanagement needed to ensure your success. You've got to route and reroute power to your engines, weapons, shields, life support, all while doing damage to your enemies and sustaining your own. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you want to make sure your crew doesn't suffocate or die in a fire or get shot by invaders. <sighs> Thank God for that pause button. In FTL, you pilot a Federation ship as the evil rebel fleet pursues you from one edge of the galaxy to the other. You carry information vital to the success of the Federation, fending off the vicious rebel attack, and okay, does this sound familiar? Actually, I usually think of the rebels as being the good guys, but you know what? That's fine. It gives me an excuse to say, you rebel scum. But, you may say, Jameson, this game came out in 2012. First of all, fuck! You're absolutely right, faithful viewers. In the resounding success of FTL, a new power has risen! That's right, FTL Advanced Edition has landed, and it expounds upon the core game in all the correct ways. <coughs> FTL Advanced Edition is a free, yes free, expansion available to anyone who has, is, or will purchase FTL on Steam or the App Store. That's right, the game is now available on the iPad. So if you're still on the fence for some reason about purchasing, just keep in mind that you will instantly have access to the added material. And if you want to experience FTL Vanilla, you can always click a nifty button to enable or disable the added content. Well, okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty here, all right? Let's get down in the sand and the mud and let's check out what's new. What's new, you might ask? Well, let's check out these systems that we got. What systems, you ask? These ones! An interesting substitution for the med bay is the clone bay. As you may have already guessed, this little system allows the reconstruction of any crew members lost in the line of duty, essentially cheating death. That means you won't be able to heal in the conventional sense, as you've come to know, but there is a small portion of your crew's health that is regained per jump. Yet another way to dick over your enemies, and vice versa, is the new mind control mechanic. Turning a would-be invader into a temporary ally, or instigating an all-out brawl on the opposing ship, makes this method of sabotage a sinister one indeed. Oh, and heads up, slugs are immune to mind control. Speaking of sabotage, hacking can just be the worst if you're not the one doing the hacking yourself. Sort of like ion damage in FTL Vanilla, this function uses a drone part to suck the life out of specific systems. Not only that, but it locks any doors that system is attached to, sequestering crew members or blocking access altogether. Did I just hear the O2 going out? Another addition is the implementation of a backup battery. If you ever played the original FTL and had a full reactor, but not quite enough juice to power all of your systems to the max, this battery may just be the boost you need. The backup can provide a temporary boost of up to four reactor bars, but has quite a bit of a cooldown. Ideal for ion storms. Best part? It's a subsystem, meaning that it won't be taking up any space in your normal system. Aside from these mechanics, there is also a new alien race called the Lanius that are essentially a bunch of T-1000s, metallic beings that in and of themselves are double-edged swords. They don't require no T system to thrive and in fact drain the oxygen out of any room they inhabit. Good? Bad? You be the judge. I personally think they're awesome. There are also a lot of miscellaneous tweaks subset games has added to FTL, such as the ability to man door and sensor rooms, a few visual upgrades, new drones, a third layout to unlock for each ship, and an added hard mode. Oh, and let's not forget a few new atmospheric tracks by composer Ben Prunty. In short, FTL is an expansion done right. Does it change the way you play the game? Yes. Does it turn the gameplay on its proverbial head? No. With a ton of new mechanics, a new alien race to love or hate, and new methods of sabotage and self-defense, it is a more than welcome addition to FTL Vanilla, which was already a pretty vivacious experience if you ask me, so it's a great reason to revisit this already wonderful game. And if you haven't picked it up yet, what are you waiting for? Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Jameson's Gamesons. Did you miss last week's episode? I feel like you might have missed last week's episode. If you missed last week's episode, it's right here. Check it out. We're back. It's an SNES game. It's eh, kind of subpar. And also remember to like, comment, and subscribe right down there because, uh, you know, that helps out quite a bit. Anyways, 
Captain Mal, out.